Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to your weekly horoscope. I'm Ivy Rivera, psychic medium. I'm also a Taino air walk, and I use a combination of channeling of spirits, my psychic abilities, and information coming from planetary movements to conduct your weekly horoscopes, which are ranging this week from Monday, August 3rd to Monday, August 10th. Enjoy. Sagittarius's, what is going on with you this week? On Monday the 3rd and Tuesday the 4th, there is a general theme on both of these days about an ex-lover or someone you're back and forth in a current relationship with. This could also be anyone in your circle that means something important to you in your heart, but there is a toxic feel to this situation. Even if in the past you did somehow create friction or a lack of communication or you are to blame for any kind of falling out here, I do feel that this person is continuously coming at you almost like a ankle biting kind of pettiness and sort of a freight train uh, with a lot of force just demanding that you are either observing the situation or that you are giving them something more than what you feel energetically you should be giving to them. And it's almost the sense of it being held over your head or you're being blamed. And I'm not even positive that for all of you, this was um, because of an action that you took previously. So regardless, it isn't an excuse for this type of behavior and you are going to have to put some limitations on that. Spirit is saying, let it go and set boundaries. On Tuesday the 4th and Wednesday the 5th, there is talk of your parents living or deceased or elders in any way reaching out to you and you reaching out to them keep that communication open and do touch base with everyone on wednesday the 5th and thursday the 6th there's talk of you muscling up and using this strength and endurance to push yourself up and over some kind of an obstacle or predicament that's been in the way that has been holding back your prosperity. I feel great about that. You come out the other side on Thursday the 6th in very good condition and hitting the ground running. So the speed will take off on your prosperity in that area where things have been stagnant. There is also talk of travel, you being called to travel on Thursday the 6th, which could be work or uh, something that you could make into a fun trip as well. So do look at the calendar, get it squared away. There's also talk of your life changing a bit in that area on Wednesday the 5th, Thursday the 6th. I see a bridge from an old way of life into a new way of life, and that's exciting too. There's talk on Friday the 7th about you closing a door, but understanding that you still need to have a game plan for the future, where it is that you want to go. And for some of you, it looked like you were trying to open a door, but it was closed on you, meaning this opportunity is not ready yet. So however you understand this, it's the same message. It's the same healing remedy. And that is have a game plan because this is within arm's reach. There's talk of you focusing on residency, work, and money on that day as well. So that could be factoring in a lot. On Saturday the 8th and Sunday the 9th, we have a mutual theme on both of these days. And that's about speaking up, leadership, helping others, mentoring, management, moving up into a position like that, and understanding that it's important that you uplift others. Your communication, even if it is a natural position for you to be in power, your communication is key. That means everything. Make sure it's uplifting and touching the hearts of the people. There's also talk of new love, and a sense of some of you coming into a sort of passionate romantic partnership or with the current relationship you're in, seeing some type of a breakthrough and a lot of sex drive going on here. There's also talk of art on Sunday the 9th. So <clears throat> we could be talking about that chakra um, where 
we see creative energy, sexual energy, but for many of you, it may not come out more as a sexual escapade as much as it is um, composing or painting or writing, whatever it is, enjoy it. On Monday the 10th, there is talk here of a closed throat chakra. I literally feel like I'm choking here. So it's very important that you are being mindful to speak and communicate your truth, to say what it is that is on your mind, what it is that you believe and need. And if you have already done this in a situation or with someone and it has been ignored or rejected, it's going to come back up to the surface on Monday the 10th, you're going to have to find another way to say it or set boundaries. Now, there's also talk on that day of your work, your prosperity, your career, or your resources being on the rise, Spirit says. And I see it coming in from three different angles, but it's interesting because no sooner do three different outlets of prosperity come in, two have to go right back out. So it's sort of like you got to pay that toll. However, everything is moving in the right direction. And when we go from three to two, we are still talking about surplus. So I see you building up some type of a, of a savings or finally being able to look at what it is that you want to invest your resources in here coming up soon down the road. And I feel very positive about all of that. Sagittarius, have a great week.